New tonight, problems at the pier. Fishermen are frustrated and fed up with, with restrictions on the Imperial Beach Pier, only allowing them to fish in a designated fishing area, giving more room to surfers and restaurant diners. Our Kelsey Christensen joins us live from IB to explain. Yeah, well, you might be thinking, well, why is this such a big deal here? But one, a lot of people come to this pier in IB to fish. And secondly, you catch different types of fish, bigger fish outside the fishing restrictions that are in place. So many people walk down the pier and they want to look in the bucket. Are you catching anything? They see my son reeling in fish. And I mean, it, it's just a great experience. Where else can you do this? Kevin Rasmussen and Nick Klein are avid fishermen in Imperial Beach. That's why they're so passionate about getting more of the IB fishing pier back for fishing. The pier is about 1500 feet long. Right now, fishermen and women have access to only about 600 feet of that. It's almost elbow to elbow where we have to really practice line etiquette and make sure you're not getting tangled. The issue is the city lets surfers and swimmers within 20 feet of the beginning of the pier, meaning fishermen are forced to move up the pier, cutting off access to big fish near shore. I've never seen a pier that allows a swimmer or a surfer within 20 feet of a pier. And since COVID, the Tin Fish restaurant at the end of the pier is allowed to put tables along the dock, blocking fishermen and women even more. In the very back of the pier, you've got thresher sharks that come through. There's yellowtail. There's sculping down low. There's just certain species that are available in these areas that they've restricted us from. Manager at Tin Fish Trish Beglioni says the divide has caused some tension and they just want everyone to get along. That's really all we want. Oh, the only thing we need out here is just if, if something is allowed to just abide by what's being allowed. After hearing the fishermen's concerns, council member Jack Fisher says the council could take up the issue soon, looking at possibly extending the surf zone to 150 feet from the pier. It's really you know, important to me that we come to a, an agreement uh, of what gets done. But while the debate continues, there's a chance their fishing space could become even smaller if this proposal by the Port of San Diego becomes reality, giving more pier space to leisure. These fishermen won't stand for it. The average fish size on the slope is about four inches in length. Wow. And, and families are trying to feed their families on that. And uh, these fishermen say that they really want the city to take this seriously. They tell me that they might even be pulling together a rally and a protest at the next city council meeting. Kathleen. All right, our Kelsey Christensen tonight live in IB.